Now, I don't like getting caught in the rain, but I do love pina coladas, especially since they're so easy to make. The pina colada originated in Puerto Rico in the 1850s. That's a lot of pina coladas ago. It's really easy to make, only four ingredients, but you have to know what they are and get them right. The first ingredient is rum. You can use golden rum or white rum. You can even use spiced rum, but I recommend the white rum because it's clean and pure and it really lets the flavor of the coconut and the pineapple come through. Which takes us to our second ingredient, cream of coconut. Not to be confused with coconut cream or coconut milk. Now, coconut cream is actually the white substance that you'll see on top of a can of coconut milk. It's quite solid, especially if your can is cold in the refrigerator or it's just cold in your cupboard. Down below is the coconut milk. But what you want to use for a pina colada is actually cream of coconut, which is coconut cream that has then been sweetened. You can get this in the grocery store, usually in the same aisle as all of the soda mixers. And remember, when you take it home, before you use it, give that can a really good shake. Then, pineapple juice, really easy to acquire, but make sure you get one that you really like because you probably have some left over. And this is one of only four ingredients in a drink. You want to make sure it tastes great. The last ingredient, of course, is ice. So I'm gonna make pina colada for you two different ways. One shaken in a cocktail mixer glass and one in a blender. Let's do the shaker first. So I'm gonna put in here two ounces of white rum. This is simple because there's a two, three, four ratio when you make a pina colada. So two ounces of rum, three ounces of coconut cream, four ounces of pineapple juice. Now, of course, our last ingredient is the ice. And it's the ice that's going to break down all of these ingredients and blend them together. So put that lid on firmly and then get ready to shake this up. A good 30 seconds at least of shaking there. Now you can say that you've worked out. And we're going to take that lid off and pour this into a classic pina colada tulip glass. All we have left to do is garnish this with a piece of peel-on pineapple, a lovely little maraschino cherry, and oh, why not? An umbrella. Perfect. Another option is to make a frozen slushy pina colada, and for that, we're gonna use a blender. So I'm gonna put my same ratio of ingredients into the blender jar. Two parts rum, three parts cream of coconut, four parts pineapple juice. For each pina colada you're making, you're gonna add two cups of ice. So for this double batch, four cups of ice. Now if you want, you can replace some of that ice with frozen pineapple cubes. That will help give your drink the cool that it needs, but not dilute it. And here's our blended pina colada. Icy and smooth, so delicious. Garnish it the exact same way, if you please. A slice of pineapple, a maraschino cherry, an umbrella, and there's at least two happy people. <laughs>